Hello everybody in YouTube land. It feels like it's been forever since I posted a video because I got started on something around the first week of July and I've been working on it right up till now. Um, the most important thing for all my experiments is a good delivery system. It's crucial for everything I want to do other than the torch. Um, so in late July I started making a delivery system and... I've gone through so many different solenoid systems right now, and I finally got something that's going to work very well. This thing is about two weeks from being completed, but I had a final breakthrough, and I finally got this to be able to accept hydroxy properly. I'm going to run it without hydroxy, just so you can see here. Just let me power this up. Give me a second here. Okay, so the way it is now, I just got a switch powering... I got a long cord here because uh, at first when it was flashing back I didn't know if these solenoids were going to blow off or what was going to happen so I stayed a good distance away. But uh, right now it's just powering straight to this connection. What's going to happen here is there's going to be a whole series of thermostats here instead of a switch. And the thermostats will be sensing temperature on whatever the unit is I have. It's a barbecue or a stove or whatever it is. And uh, once it senses the temperature is hot enough it's going to kick off this flame. And when it senses the temperature has gone below a certain temperature it's going to turn on an igniter and kick this back on uh, right now I've got this, um, this solid igniter but it's going to be a spark igniter when I actually have this completed unit I would rather have it start with a spark than a hot, uh, a hot igniter because I think the hydroxy flame will burn right through that but for now let me power this up and I'll show you what I mean in the process as soon as I turn it on you'll hear the first coil open and then uh, once the igniter gets hot enough to satisfy the flame sensor, you'll hear the second coil open. So let's check this out. So you got the switch. So you should hear the first coil open as soon as I turn this on. Now, there we go. So we got the first coil. All this is, is totally separate right now just for experimental purposes. This is within two weeks, this will all be put together as one long unit with two of these solenoid valves in the, in the line actually. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start getting red, start getting red. It's going to satisfy that. Then you're going to hear another click here, and then I should be able to blow through this as soon as... There we go. Now let's see if you can hear from the microphone. So there we go. This is perfect. And then once it senses that it's hot enough, when i got thermostats here, this is going to kick off. I'll just kick it off manually, boom, everything's off. And because of the MIG tip, and because of some alterations I'll show you later that I've made within the relief valve and uh, internally here, there is not a flashback yet. There was at the beginning, I went through lots of crap at the beginning, but right now, this is exciting me like you can't imagine, because this is the most important thing for all the experiments I'm doing, is to have a reliable delivery system that you don't have to stand there and light the flame and then turn it back off, and it's a real pain in the ass, so I'm very excited about this. You will see a video very shortly with this thing running. And I've totally neglected my cells here. I've just used the, the torch over the summer, but right now, I am going to take this apart and put one eighth gaskets that I've cut. My god, that takes a long time to cut all those gaskets, but I've got a whole bunch of one eighth gaskets for this cell, and the other diamond cell is about 80% done. So this will all be ready for testing, and I'm going to have all kinds of different tests that I got in mind for the cells. So I'm anxious for that. And one other cool thing I've been working on over the summer, I'll show you some other stuff. And we've been working on all kinds of solar projects because solar and hydroxy are definitely the two best ways to make energy that I've found to make heat or energy. And this is a Fresnel lens just in a cheap frame that we made. And this Fresnel lens will burn wood like nothing when you got it in the sun. It's amazing. But the most exciting part is how much it's going to heat water. Uh, so we've got Fresnel lens. We did a bunch of experiments this summer. We've got parabolic dishes. Even this cheap one covered in mylar. It was incredible the focal point how hot it was. So now we're going to take these dishes and actually dishes like that and actually sand them down to get the bare metal and get a real nice mirror. So Fresnel lenses, parabolic dishes, and also we've made all kinds of solar hot water heaters. This is just one in the middle of being made right now. 
but uh, insulated cases with water running through with a Lexan cover it's incredible how hot the water gets we got those cases also larger sized ones being made for solar furnaces to heat your home and that involves these aluminum tall cans all joined together painted black and you'll see in a future video what that does it's pretty impressive I I'm really amazed at the solar thermal power that we discovered this summer it's amazing what we can do and uh, that's it so very shortly we're gonna see this some solar experiments and the cells are going to be reconstructed to do some different testing to see what the best gap is i was convinced 1 16th gap was the best but i've found a lot of people that had better success with 1 8 so i'm going to try the 1 8 gaskets on the double diamond and have a 1 16th gap on the regular diamond when i put it here and that's going to tell us what's going to actually happen because it'll be drawing from the same batch of electrolyte, same concentration, so we'll be able to compare it very equally. And one half of the double diamond will be running off battery power, the other half will be running off charger. I want to see the differences in straight DC and then DC with that little bit of AC that the charger puts in. So, I'm excited. That was a pain in the ass to get to the point where I'm at with this now, but I'm so happy I'm here, and we'll see you guys very soon.